Mainly because of the coronavirus pandemic, voters here in the U.S. are casting their ballots early in record numbers this year. Here's a look at which states have early and mail-in voting. 44 states plus the District of Columbia allow some form of either early or mail-in voting. These states conduct what are commonly referred to as all-mail elections. In these states, voting is conducted primarily, although not necessarily exclusively, by mail. And the remaining six do not have in-person early voting or no-excuse absentee voting, which means residents of these states will have to wait until November 3rd to go to the polls. So when will states begin processing early ballots? These 19 states plus the District of Columbia will be able to process early ballots as soon as they are received. And these states can do so any time before Election Day. Alabama and Mississippi will not begin to process absentee ballots until Election Day. And three critical battleground states, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and Michigan, aren't allowed to start processing early ballots until on or just before Election Day itself. Voters casting their ballots by mail will need to send them through early enough that they arrive in time to be counted. The 28 green states will only count ballots that arrive before or on November 3rd. The remaining 22 states, plus the District of Columbia, will count all ballots that are postmarked on or before Election Day, even if they arrive later. So with such a complicated system, counting votes will take longer than usual, which could delay not just their state results, but also if the Electoral College count is close, potentially leave the entire presidential race up in the air.